My name is Professor Sue Black. I'm the director of the Centre for Anatomy and Human Identification at the University of Dundee. I'm a forensic scientist, a forensic anthropologist, but I'm also the university's deputy principal for public engagement. <laughs> I do like writing, but I'm not a I'm not a fiction writer. So I like to write facts. So I, I like textbooks and such things. But outside that, oh, I don't know. I, I started life off in a butcher shop. So I'd quite like to go back to being in a butcher shop. Thank you very much indeed. I enjoyed that very much. Other than that, um, I don't know, I like talking to people and I like communicating. So it might be something in that sort of a field. Not working with children, because I don't think I'm very good with children, but certainly working with adults. Yes, it is possible to get away with murder because lots of people, I'm absolutely certain, have got away with murder. And the reason they've got away with it is perhaps because we haven't yet found the body. And so it's really difficult to convict somebody of murder if a body is not found, but we have been successful in doing that in the past. But people say, what's the perfect crime? Well, the perfect crime is the one that nobody has yet found. So when somebody stumbles across the body that's buried in the garden, or it comes up on the fishing net, when you just simply can't predict when you're going to come across it, then something that's gone from being the perfect murder that has never been detected suddenly comes into focus. So the perfect one is the one that we just haven't solved yet. The ones that tend to stick with us are the ones we don't solve, which, which sounds rather odd. You think your best case would be the ones you solve, but the ones that stay with you are the ones that just niggle away at the back of your mind thinking, have I not done the right thing? Did I not ask the right question? So um, I grew up in Inverness and in the 1970s, a woman, Rini McRae and her son went missing. And for Inverness, that's, uh, it's a big deal and it's a big story. And for as long as a case like that remains open, it's almost like a running sore. And so we were invited to go and excavate at a place called Dalmagari Quarry, just uh, south of Inverness, because there was some evidence to suggest her body may have been there. So we spent, oh gosh, six, eight weeks excavating a quarry, didn't find her. And so for that, that remains a really important case because what we've not been able to do is bring closure to Rini McRae's family. So they become important for us in terms of we've not solved them, they've yet to be solved. So that little itch that you can't quite scratch. The ones that you solve are great, they make great stories, but they're not the ones that stay with us. <laughs>